Hey everyone, Nick Dearbertis here teaching you financial modeling. Today we're going to be solving the lab exercise on adding sensitivity analysis to the project one model. This comes as part of the lecture series on exploring the parameter space. So in that lecture, then this lab exercise was right at the end here to then take the Python model from project one see how MPV changes when the number of machines and initial demand change. And our output should be a hex fin plot and a styled data frame. So let's jump over to the project one model. Um, and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the sensitivity import from sensitivity import sensitivity analyzer. Um, and then I'm going to restart and run all cells. Um, and uh, main model function here, I know that it doesn't have any output other than the MPV. And I know that it will take uh, the data and be able to output that. Um, and I'll put the result corresponding to that data. And so we're good to go to actually build out the sensitivity analysis. Um, so for the sensitivity analysis, the first thing that we have to do is make that function, which accepts the separate arguments rather than the data class. And then it creates the data class and then calls the original function with the um, created data class. So as I suggested that you do, I'm going to copy that from my dynamic salary retirement model and then switch it out for um, what we need here. And here, um, it's an MPV function, right? No, that's MPV value. Uh, when does the function model MPV? So here it's gonna be Model MPV, separate args, and we're going to be calling model MPV here as well. Um, so then when we call this model MPV separate args, we should get the same result as before. And then we should be able to pass things into it um, and get different results. So that looks like it's working correctly. So then I can go on to the next step, which is then to set up the dictionary of the different values that I want to look at. Um, for my cases of the inputs. So the problem is asking um, that we look at the uh, number of machines and the initial demand. Um, and so those are called uh, end machines uh, and machines. Um, and for number of machines, let's look at one, two, three, four, five. Um, and for the, um, let's say initial demand. Uh, yep, initial demand. So that would be D1. Um, so D1. And let's look at um, as low as 10,000. Keep the 100,000 case in there. Um, and let's look at 200,000 as well. All right, let's, let's go up to 300,000 as well. So those are the different values we want to look at for um, our inputs, our two different inputs. And then we can go ahead and create the sensitivity analyzer. So sensitivity analyzer, we're going to pass to it the sensitivity values, and we're going to pass the model function with the separate arguments. So I do that uh, and we'll see that it was able to run the model 20 times, which is five times four, so that looks correct. Um, and we can quickly take a peek at the results. We can see all the different MPVs coming with each of the different number of machines and uh, different demands, but we don't need to show this. What we do need to show is uh, the plots um, so it's sa.plot, um, and that will get us the plot, and we want to do, uh, 
the styled DFs as well. Uh, so now we have that there. So now we have everything that we need, but only the formatting needs some work. Um, so we can create some labels and machines is going to be number of machines and D1 is going to be init initial demand. Um, and here, high MPV is better, so we don't need to reverse the direction. Um, we can decrease that grid size. Let's make it four. Um, pass the labels. Um, we want to put the result name is MPV. Um, and we want to put a number format for the MPV. Uh, it's going to be dollar formatting. Um, we don't need decimal places on it. So now I'll run these again. Oh, and we should put commas in the number format as well. Um, and uh, let's go down to a smaller grid size because we're still getting a gap in there. Three for the grid size. Okay, that's looking better. Um, so now we have the um, hex bin plot here, nicely formatted, um, which is showing that actually the middle number of machines has the lowest um, MPV. Um, when you're looking at the low demand numbers, but when you look at high demand numbers, then uh, it's higher levels of uh, number of machines, which get you better MPV and uh, low gets you lower. So it's kind of linear uh, when there's plenty of demand, but when there's low demand, then you want to invest in advertising instead. And so that's why the low number of machines actually beats the mid number of machines for the MPV. And it's very easy to, to draw these conclusions looking at a graph rather than the raw numbers. Uh, and we see the same kind of thing uh, here as well with styled data frame. It's the same results, just displaying it in a slightly different format. So that's the lab, lab exercise of adding sensitivity analysis to your project one model. So thanks for listening and see you next time.